Talk about your monetizing, funding, financing strategy for your series. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, it's interesting from having this conversation, we're all sitting here and we're like, it's, it's interesting to watch our conversation digress into like, you know, closed captioning and all this stuff and everyone's like, oh, you should do that. And it's like, which is amazing, right? But it's like, then it, it comes to, I think it, it, that feeds directly into everybody's passion, but the conundrum of, like how you grow something to make it large and sustainable and monetizable and be a one person or two person or a volunteer based uh, system. Like, uh, I mean, to me, the, the thing is that I really want to try and make uh, this a sustainable thing. I mean, I love doing it. We all love doing this, right? And the idea is like, how do we do this in a way so that um, it's actually monetizable? And so, I mean, we've been experimenting on a bunch of different fronts. Uh, I mean, the, probably the, the most basic ones are brand integration and bringing brands on board to help finance. And I mean, we all know, I mean, television and films are all ultimately driven by brands in the end, whether it's through commercials or whatever. So we're just trying to integrate them in and bring the brands on board. But, you know, it's a tricky time, right? I mean, brands. <clears throat> for the most part, understand that you buy ads and you build ads or you buy advertisement online, whatever it is, but to, to integrate is, is harder and you have to talk to them directly and there's all sorts of you know intermediaries, there's, uh, there's agencies, there's you know uh, media buyers, there's all this stuff. So um, what we've been doing is just trying to kick down the doors of the brands and so we've had some success doing that in terms of getting major brands involved and they're hungry once you get in the door. They actually really want this, they want to be a part of it some more than others, but they do want to be a part of that. That's really important. The other one um, that we have been really experimenting with as well is having content that you can sell. And, and one of the things I've noticed, and I don't know if any of you have gone through this, we just, we just launched on iTunes, our series, and it's like, even though the series is free and available online, people will actually still buy it, which is interesting. Really? Eh? Yeah, people will actually buy it. And I'm noticing why, that. Why, why, would they, why would they, how would they access it, though? Downloading? Yeah, just downloading it. Basically, you can buy it off of iTunes and you can download it. And so, I mean, I think this is important. I mean, one of the things, uh, I mean, it's interesting. I think also that it's a community, um, like, people want to own something, right? I think. I mean, not everybody, but, but some people want to own things. They want to have it on their devices. They want to have it. They want to take it with them when they go. Yeah. So, when someone, yeah, in, in your case, when, uh, when a purchaser buys it, yeah. do they buy just one episode or the entire season? They can buy it by episode or the whole oh, season. Okay. It's a lot cheaper to buy the whole season. We didn't set the price, uh, but uh, I was actually surprised uh, by how much it is per episode. Uh, but uh, but I think so. I mean that's an interesting thing. I mean the other thing too. But I really do think the other one is um, uh, Guidestones is also on Hulu, and um, what's really important about that, and I think is one of the things that's going to drive a lot of us going forward, is that there's a there's a rev share on the advertising, right? Yeah. Rev, so they have, rev, rev share as in revenue. Yeah, sorry, the revenue share, and, and that's like really important, and it can actually be, uh, it can sustain you, you know? I mean, we see it in terms of like with YouTube personalities, etc., where they're actually generating really good revenue based on their uh, based on their advertising share with YouTube, and, and Hulu has an amazing deal uh, that they're really generous uh, with content creators, and so, so that, I think it's like a combination for us of the revenue shares of advertising online, a uh, combination of bring, integrating brands and then selling our own stuff, like having, having whatever, the, the storefront, the things we integrate, that sort of stuff, which, you know, I mean, and, and, and you sort of build a combination around those sort of things, and it seems like, you know, hopefully we can float the boat and make it sustainable, but, but it's still, the jury's still yeah. a little bit out. You know? I'd, I'd say, I, I, I know it's a different topic, and we're still going to get to the funding and monetizing, but fully. How do you get on How did you get Guidestones? Yeah, well, Guidestones was actually one of the very first short format uh, series to be on. Um, we had a previous, uh, we had a previous uh, uh, relationship with them, so we actually had another, like a traditional broadcast show. And it, again, and it just shows you. So we had this connection. They like Guidestones. They put it up, and it's been like the numbers have been amazing coming off of it. So like, how do you get in? They're they're actually who's opening up. It's like all these platforms. Hulu, Netflix, all these different um, over-the-top providers are actually, it's, it's really interesting right now because they're getting into financing original content and I think like the people sitting here and the people at this festival are primed for that because, you know, Netflix, Hulu, these other, uh, these other uh, providers, they're not going to, they're not going to go to a traditional town and say like, here's $10 million building a series. It's like, we've got a smaller amount of money. 
we need somebody who can build a series, make it look good, like all these series are such high quality, and yet they're being produced for a lower amount. So I'm hoping that we'll all start to, to shuffle into that middle zone there. Where as, long it's as, like, as long as they raise the dollar value sales. Right now, the dollar values that they're, that they're offering, it's sort of a thing that we all face. Like, we can do it for cheap. And we do, and we can, and we will, but we can't sustain it, and it can't become our day jobs. It's not enough for me to quit my day job for the money that they're offering me. Yeah. Even if I pay all the crew and everybody minimum wage, I'm not going to take a company out. And that's fine. We love what we do and we love my parents, but the dollar values are going to have to come up yeah. to get that. Many, the amount that some of the providers are offering are, are done right now. That's, and and that's the big thing we talk about. It's getting though. better, though. The numbers it is, are getting it is better. Starting, it is starting to creep up, but it's getting better. It's still not at it's still not at the stage where you can pay your money through and everybody to make wages. It's getting better though. Like I know some deals that are happening through Netflix. Where you can sustain a crew. Uh, the successful monetization on the on the business side of it as well. Actually, ask that question ask that own. question again tomorrow. So maybe we'll go. Yeah. <laughs> or the next or or, or in, or in a year. Know, there is a series uh, done in, in Montreal that, that is sustaining itself. And that's Heroes of the North. Yeah. And they say most of their monetization is through the peripheral stuff. So this is a transmedia show. It's a web series. It's a comic book. It's got action figures. It's got, uh, you know, all that fun stuff. And through the sales of the action figures and the comic books, which sell in comic book stores in Canada and the U.S., uh, and perhaps elsewhere, they've, they've not just made their money so you back. you have to look beyond They are making a living. Yeah, you you have to look he, he even it. sort of said, in a way, it's like the web series is almost like it's an advertisement yeah, for the rest. Yeah. And, I mean, he's still getting his, you know, his revenue share from that, which is piddly. Yeah. But, but, you know, that's what they're saying. Uh, 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 Christian, what's his last name? Uh, I know him, his, his Facebook name is, is uh, movie seals. <laughs> he doesn't use real name, but uh, anyway, I mean, he, he's someone to, to talk to because I mean, he really is figuring this out. That's about a building a, a franchise, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, that's yeah. that's well, the thing is when you, when you sit down like, and you make like, something. I've seen, I've seen the action figures that he sent me a picture of. Them, oh yeah. And they're like this. Like oh no, they're, 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 they're big. Like, yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, the, you know, okay. the Canadian and the fleur de lis and all this. But right? I think, I think, I think, <laughs> I think so, even though, even though when you sit here and you talk about that, when you, that gets back to the fundamental of what are you making? Whenever any filmmaker sits down to do anything, whether it's a web series, a short film, a full length feature, a TV show, anything, whatever, you sit down and do it, you have to sit down. You don't just go, I'm going to make art and then something's going to happen. Because then it's a, it's a long, it's a long haul and we all do it to some extent. But if you have a focus, so he's saying, he goes, okay, I'm going to make a web series. What am I making a web series for? I'm making a web series to sell my action figures, to sell my music. He had funding he did the right in the front end to do that. And then he went out. I did, that comes back to I did start this as an art project. So did and, I mean, and we all I, sort of we did. Yeah, yeah, and That's, like I had, I like, you know, like I didn't spend a dime on promotion because it's like, well, why am I going to spend money? Like, if people watch it, that's great. If they don't, well, I've made this thing that I can be proud of. And now I'm realizing, like, oh, no, no, no. Like, I got to keep doing this. So, but we're, so, we're, so you're going to continue. So talk about uh, how you finance your series. I pay for it myself. Um, <laughs> talk a little bit about what you've heard about other people that have worked as far as monetizing or, you know, being able to make a little money off of it. Uh, what have you heard out there? Uh, well, I mean, for me, there's, there's, you know, you can do, you can do the the rev sharing sort of thing, you know, you can kind of stuff. Uh, obviously, product placement, trying to get a a sponsor uh, is definitely a, the biggest way that's going. But I'm seeing that people like actually front end. Mean? But making money off the back end, it's, it's not really there yet. I mean, it, it's the business model isn't there yet because. <laughs> You have like six figure views. Yeah, we have two hundred thousand plus views yeah. on your show, and you're still having a hard time. Um, well, you know, yeah, but some of that, some of that is because what Divine is is it's a pilot. I didn't shoot a whole series, and that's not our business model. is not to shoot a whole series. Our business model is that we're trying to shoot pilots that we're going to get picked up and turned into series. I don't want to continue to fund things out of my own pocket yeah, and that yeah. sort of thing, which is why we just finished filming after, was we didn't have enough money to shoot enough of Divine to get the whole series that people were going to go, oh my god, it's a great series, so get DVD uh, distribution. Because right now, that's the, the way when you sit down and you talk to, to 
um, agents who can do stuff. It's the DVD, the back end um, revenue is where is what you're actually looking at. The front end revenue isn't from what we're seeing isn't really there. Like, we're not going to get. No one's going to come along and go, Divine's great, we're going to give you $250,000 for your six episodes of Divine. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get shows as pilots, and what we want to do is we become a Warner Brothers, a production studio. We're making multiple content um, that when uh, web producers or creative people have a show and they want to do something, they can come to us, we can help them get it developed and sort of put them in touch with things. Because I think there's a lot of things that are missing in the business model for us to make money off of. One being there is no one place to go to look for web streams. Sort of what we're talking about before. If you want to, if you want to get there on television, you want to watch TV. You go to ABC, NBC, CBS, BBC, France. You know, TV. You go to a specific place to find a show. When you watch it, find a web series. It's hard to do it. So we're missing that. We're also missing a place that if you want to produce something and you don't know how, you don't know how money, you don't have a production company, where can you go to get that? How can you get your product made? Especially if you don't know what's going on. Because some of the things that we all have here is we have some success and some notoriety. And so for us, what we're doing and what we're finding is there's some people in Vancouver that have done web series that are sort of at a level here and they're approaching us saying, hey look, we want your help to get our, our quality up to there. And then when it's there, can you help us get through the front door to some of these people so that we can we can get so I mean our, our business model is a little bit different so um, we're struggling because I'm still sort of digging my heels in and saying look I just don't want to sell the money and let it go because right now it's part of my portfolio and if I go and sign a deal with somebody then it makes it difficult for me to say here's my portfolio you know you, you don't just if you come to us you can get divine and after and these other six projects we have in development if I sell off one then you know, it's, it's sort of, it depends. So you want to sell your library? Yeah, well, it, 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 it just comes down to that focus point where you've got to look at what you're trying to do. Like, I, we'll sell off Divine or we'll put it um, uh, on shows or on websites and we'll do those things. Uh, if the hits will support the business model, the plan, and the goal. If if there's an opportunity to get to a million hits, and that's sort of one of the things with us when it comes to marketing. We took a marketing, our marketing guy quit the week before we went to camera, so we had to sit down and we decide how we were going to market. We sort of took this grassroots approach where we want to get enough hits where we can say, people go, well, wow, it's you know respectable, you got 200,000 views, it's not a million, but at the same time, someone could still take the mind and premiere it somewhere. It's not so many that you go, oh, it's like...